the general method for adding fractions together, essentially, rational expressions together. Number one, you're going to factor all denominators. Simplify each expression if possible. So if it's not in simplified form, do that. It'll make your life easier. That's number one. Number two, get any expression in terms of the LCD by multiplying its numerator and denominator by the factor or factors that it's missing from the LCD. Didn't we do that? Yeah. And then you're going to add, and you haven't seen this part yet. You will in the next example. You're going to add, and if necessary, simplify. Perform the indicated operation. We have x plus 7 divided by 2x plus 12 plus 6 divided by x squared minus 36. Let's look at our steps. What do we have to do first here? We're going to factor. Okay, so in the first one, first term, x plus 7, what could you do with this first denominator? What could you, how could you factor it? A 2. So GCF is 2 in that first denominator, and then x plus 6 left over. And then what about this second denominator? So x squared minus 36 factors to be, yep, difference of two squares, x plus 6 times x minus 6. So step one says get everything in terms of the LCD. I'm sorry, step one says factor all the denominators. Step two, get everything in terms of the LCD. So how do we do that? What, what is the LCD? It's got to contain a factor of 2. It's got to contain a factor of x plus 6. Just look at each and every factor from left to right. It's got to contain a factor of x plus 6. Already got it. it we've, it's got to contain a factor of x minus 6. I don't have that yet. And then you form the LCD by taking the product of those factors. And the LCD should be the small. Whoops. And the LCD should be the smallest product or smallest degree polynomial that contains all of the factors of both denominators. Does everybody see how I found that? Okay. So then getting everything in terms of the LCD then, our steps, step two says, you got to multiply numerator and denominator by what's missing from the LCD in e any of the terms, right? By the factor or factors that are missing. Okay, so let me leave a little bit more room here. Look at this first term, x plus 7 divided by 2 times the quantity x plus 6. What factor is it missing from the LCD? The x minus 6. So you're going to multiply numerator and denominator by x minus 6. Notice I put parentheses around the x plus 7. The division bar is an implied grouping symbol, or it is a grouping symbol which implies those parentheses. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's look at the second uh, term. What is it missing from the LCD? In other words, what factor is this guy missing from the LCD? It's just missing a 2, isn't it? Um, so you can multiply numerator and denominator by 2, which, okay, ends up, you end up just multiplying the, the numerator by 2, right? The 6 by the 2. So you could write it like that. And then right away, once you've done that, you could write one big fraction with the common denominator of 2 times x plus 6 times x minus 6. In the numerator, you have the product x plus 7 times x minus 6 and then plus 12. What's the dark side here? Don't write this down. It's not correct ever, okay? but everybody wants to do that for whatever reason. Okay, so uh, what do we have to do in that numerator? You got, yeah, exactly. You got to multiply it out, combine like terms, and if possible, simplify, right? Okay, so let me back off. So if I multiply out x plus 7 times x minus 6, first, add or inner last, what do I get? x squared minus 6x plus 7x minus 42. And then we still have the plus 12. And then we still have that LCD, right? 2 times x plus 6 
times x minus 6. OK. Now, what like terms add together here? We have x squared minus 6x and plus 7x make plus x. And then minus 42 and plus 12, minus 30. And then 2, uh, the denominator is 2 times x plus 6 times x minus 6. Now, in the other examples, we were done at this point. And it was pretty obvious we were done. But here, is it obvious that we're finished, that it's simplified all the way? No. Because the, you look at the numerator and, oh, maybe it contains a factor of x plus 6 or x minus 6, right? So you've got to simplify this in the way that you did in the section from yesterday. So you've got to factor the numerator, if possible, and see if it contains any common factors with the denominator. If it does, then you're going to simplify. It's basically reducing the fraction, OK? That's what, what it is. So how does the numerator factor? It does factor. Yeah, um, so we need two numbers. It's a 1 here, so it's very systematic. Two numbers whose product is negative 30 and whose sum is 1. So I'm thinking um, 6 and 5. I get the numbers first, the absolute value of the numbers first. And then I think, which one has to be minus to get a plus 1? There you go. And then in the denominator, we have 2 times x plus 6 times x minus 6. And then what's the common factor that's going to go away? x plus 6 divided by x plus 6 makes 1, right? Notice the reason we're able to do that division is the operation in the numerator and denominator. Between the parentheses, the operation is multiplication. That's what allows us to do this. OK, then clean it up. So we get just, what, x minus 5 on top over 2 times x minus 6 on the bottom. And that's it. You can't take it any further. You could distribute the 2 on the bottom, but it doesn't do any good, so there's no reason to. In, in, in those steps I gave you, that was the step you hadn't seen yet. Step 2, we did, uh, in all the problems above, we did step 2. In step 3, uh, we added, we added in all, added or subtract. When I say add, uh, it's add or subtract, right? But you can always think of subtraction as adding opposites. So technically, it's really adding. And then this was the new thing that we hadn't seen in the other problems, simplify. In other words, reduce the fraction if possible. 